Hello Taurus and welcome to your June blessings video. So in this video we're going to be looking at what blessings are going to be coming towards you here in the month of June. So Taurus remember to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascendant sign because together these are going to give you a broader picture of what is going on here. So remember to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. And the, these videos are generalized, so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as that will resonate with someone else. And without further ado, we're going to start looking at the cards that you have here. So first of all, we're going to look at the Oracle cards that you have. Actually, these are the Tarot cards, and then we're going to look at the Oracle cards afterwards. So these are the cards that we have. So you have the Ten of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Justice card okay and so what it looks like to me is that there is a situation here that you have walked away from or a situation that you're currently walking away from because we've got the bull here that represents you Taurus and we can see that our girl here she is leaving a situation that no longer serves her so we are seeing that you are preparing to leave this situation or this situation you are already started to make this progress so your blessings are going to be coming from actually being brave enough to leave this situation and keep going don't turn back because we see here that we've got the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles really represents our money our health and also it's our material positions right and we have our woman here and she is looking at the situation that is going on here so could it be that maybe you have just left your partner you have just left a marriage and i'm gonna say that i am sorry there's a helicopter outside. It's been going on on and off for quite a while now. And this is the third time I'm recording this video and we're just gonna have to carry on. I live near Windsor Castle and so there's all these helicopters ruining my videos all the time. <laughs> anyway, so we we're saying, we have here the Four of Pentacles, which is all about your money, your health, your material possessions. It's about things that you can hold in the physical, right? And we have our lady here that's looking at the situation. So this situation could be that there is a job that you're working with at, at the moment, and this job doesn't pay you enough, and you know that you should be leaving this job. You know you should not be in this situation anymore. So we are asking you to be brave because you're going to see that once you are brave enough, you are actually going to start making more money. This could also be a partnership that you're in at the moment. So this could be a relationship. This could be, you know, fill in the blanks. The thing about readings is because we cannot possibly uh, say all the different sort of like scenarios that could be going on out there. So take the information that I'm giving you and then see where it slots in your life. So use your discernment, use your logic to, you know, see where this information is making sense for you. So this could also maybe be a relationship, maybe it, could even, maybe it could even be a marriage that is ending. So you are packing your bags, you are leaving. And now we are seeing that, you know, you have money on your mind. So you are sort of like thinking, can I be alone? And we are seeing that our lady here, she is clutching her wallet and she has, you know, she has turned her back to a situation that was no longer serving her and so for you this is where your blessings are coming from really be brave really look at your life and say anything that doesn't serve me here in june i am going to be brave enough to walk away because we're saying we're seeing here that now we have the justice card and the justice card is a major arcana card and so this card has a lot of say in this reading right so this card is asking you to balance your life look at your life and see where your life is out of balance right and do something about it because usually we want our blessings to come and just like magically make things better for us but this is not what life is all about this life that we're living here, this experience, this human experience that we're all going through is all about lessons. It's all about what can we take from lesson, the lessons that we're learning? What blessings are hidden sometimes in painful lessons that we, we encounter through this journey called life, right? So the justice card is saying to you, you know, seek balance. And also if there's a situation like a legal situation that you need to take care of, take care of it but do not lose yourself 
into wanting justice do not lose yourself into like that fight that that you know that battling energy that i want all i want blood i want you know i want everything because someone has wronged me and i'm gonna make sure that this person suffers the justice card is saying to you that you know if a situation no longer serves you this is the blessing that you are having by walking away wanting to you know wanting blood and wanting to destroy someone is really going to end up destroying you the blessings are coming from you walking away from that situation how is this a blessing i hear you ask because when you walk away from a situation this opens up you know a door this opens up that window this opens up a space into your life for something new to come in because if you're holding on to something and you're holding on to this relationship that you know you need to let go you're holding on to this job that you know you need to let go how can you then allow that perfect relationship to come in how can you then allow that perfect job to come in so sometimes in life our blessings come from being brave to do what we need to do to do what we know deep down in our hearts we know we need to do something it might be hard it might be painful but once you do it you're gonna see that your life actually starts turning for the better so now we're going to be looking at some oracle cards and seeing what these oracle cards have to say about these blessings and the situation that is currently developing here for you taurus so the first oracle card that i have for you is bridget and bridget is asking you not to back down so she is saying do not back down stand up for what you believe is right i like this card so I could put this with the justice card because you know the colors are similar so let's put it here so we are seeing that yes you want justice and yes you are gonna get justice but remember not to lose yourself in the fight keep that gentleness keep yourself keep that vibrancy within you right do not let this fight do not let this situation end up destroying you also okay so do not back down but at the, same, at the same time, do not seek to go and destroy someone else, okay? Even though you think that they deserve to be destroyed, you think I deserve, you know, justice, let karma do whatever it needs to do. Karma might not come and smack this person instantly. Karma might take five or ten years, but let me tell you, when karma does visit, that justice that you're seeking will be served next let's have a look at some goddess cards and this goddess card that i have here is about prosperity right so this card is talking about prosperity i am gonna just smudge and cleanse this energy because i can feel that there's a heavy energy going on here so let's just cleanse this energy so we can move on to some something better here that i can see coming for you so we have this card and this card here is about prosperity and so prosperity is coming in to say that let's just cleanse our helicopter is back so we are carrying on because we cannot carry on stopping so prosperity is coming to say that the universe right the universe is pouring its abundance upon you i like this a lot so it's pouring its abundance on you be open to receive so let's just put our smudge stick here let's just cleanse this energy around you let's just cleanse this energy around this reading so we can allow this blessing to come in let's just pop this to one side even if it wants to fall down that's fine so the the universe is not just sprinkling it is blessing it is pouring its abundance out to you be open to receiving so like I said you are not losing yourself to wanting justice you're not losing yourself to wanting blood you are not losing yourself to wanting to fight until the death you are letting the divine see from a higher perspective who is wrong and who is right and is asking you not to worry because it's seeing that you are letting this situation go you are letting this situation go and you know saying to god take this away from me and god is gonna see or the divine is gonna see that hey you know what this person actually deserves some abundance this person actually deserves some blessings 
and you're going to see this abundance and blessings being poured onto you if you were brave enough to leave this situation. Okay. So the next card that we have here is the magic guardian and the magic guardian talks about unlock the magic within. So from my understanding, this card here is coming to say to you, Hey, if you knew this abundance was going to get poured upon you, if you knew that these blessings are going to rain upon you, what would you be willing to let go? How can you heal maybe your broken heart? How can you heal and let go of that disappointment that you have? So this is how you start unlocking that magic within you because you are starting to see yourself as a radiant being. You are starting to see yourself as someone protected, as someone divinely loved, as someone divinely blessed. So why would you be fighting peasants? Why would you be fighting people who are not even worth your energy or your attention? Like I said, let karma come whenever it decides to come, to come and deal with these people who may have wronged you. So your job is to unleash this magic within you, blessing yourself, blessing your life and carrying on, knowing that you are divinely blessed and you are divinely protected. Okay, Taurus. So the next card that we have here is, is saying that your hard work is paying off. So I now see you really receiving the message that I've given you. We can see that this card has some darkness to it. Okay. We can see that there's a dark situation from these cards here. And maybe when I started doing this reading for you, you were thinking, I can't let this go. I want justice. I, I, I don't know. I came here for blessings. So now what this card here is saying that you are actually now listening to this message. And now your heart is starting to open before you were like, I want justice. I want, you know, I want to fight to the end. I know I'm going to win. And as you're listening to this message, as you're listening to my voice, the voice of reason is starting to open up your heart a little bit. You're starting to let go of some of that resentment of some of that hurt, some of that pain. You are starting to see that actually you are just hurting yourself by inviting all this stress and all this negative energy into your being, into your aura, into your body. And so now I can see that, yes, this is hard work. Maybe a day from now, you're going to start feeling that, yes, I want revenge again. And now you're going to remember this, this reading and you're going to remember just to open up your heart, open up your hands, open up, let go and know that when karma is ready, it's going to come and serve that dish of justice that this other person may deserve if it's the company whoever it is that deserves this it is not your problem it is not your job it is not for you to be going out there and trying to hurt other people because when you do that you only end up hurting yourself so yes this is hard work i know to try to stay in that higher vibration it is designed to try and stay in that in that light in that faith, in that believing that this situation is actually going to work out in the end. Letting go of the situation of that like, you know, oh, I've only got a small amount of money because someone stole from me or whatever it is that, ha that has happened. You can see that energy from this woman. She's almost like turning her back to the world. Like, I don't want anyone to ever get close to me again. But again, who really ends up getting hurt in the long run? She ends up hurting herself. So this hard work that you're going to be putting in, letting go, trusting, believing, saying, you know what, whatever happens is none of my business. My business is taking care of myself. My business is making sure that I always keep my heart wide open to receiving blessings, my, my heart wide open to unlocking the magic within me and to sharing that with other people, to bringing out the essence of love and inviting the essence of prosperity and abundance that's already available to me. I am not going to let myself sink into this darkness. Okay. And so the la last card that we have is a Tiwaz. And Tiwaz is the sky God. So Tiwaz is all about, you know, your prayers have been answered. Okay. Your prayers have been heard. It is not a time for you to keep fighting and fighting. 
let it go whatever you're fighting just give it to the divine and say I'm gonna trust that the right thing is gonna happen I'm gonna trust that justice will be delivered I'm gonna trust that you know the strength I need is gonna be given to me so this card here is all about warriors it's all about you know it's all about strength it's all about responsibility responsibility for what you're responsible for yourself you are responsible for how you act you are not responsible for how other people act you're not responsible for making other people see how right you are making other people see how wrong you've been done that is none of your business your responsibility is to always stay in your power always stay in that divine sort of essence that goddess that god energy that's around you don't lower yourself to the law of vibrations like they say a queen never takes her crown off to address the peasants so you are that queen keep your crown on keep your chin high so your, your crown doesn't start falling off know that you're protected because you see with this rune it says that you know victory is on the cards with this rune this is actually a good omen rune when i see this rune i'm really happy especially when there is a feelings of justice and you know people have been run down wrong and all that stuff when this rune is there i like this because it talks about victory it's about that warrior how do you become a warrior you don't become a warrior by sitting in your in your in your home comfortable you know painting your nails brushing your hair that is not a warrior a warrior goes out there is brave they're willing to fight they're willing to put their life on the line right that that is what a warrior is so back in the day in ancient times warriors used to carve this symbol on their shields and this used to be the symbol of protection so this card not only comes to say that you are protected this card is also coming in to say that be that warrior that you need to be in your own life so taurus this is the reading that i have for you i am gonna wish you so much luck and so much abundance and blessings and prosperity that is here on the cards for you i can see that there is a hard situation here for you but that's okay life is all about growing life is not just about you know living in a bed of roses of the time we grow from situations we become better and we we prosper more so taurus if you need me to have a look at your own personal circumstances my website is in the description box below remember to give this video a thumbs up comment subscribe and also hit the notification bell on that note i'm gonna love you and leave you and it's a goodbye from me bye